serious crimes prosecution has demanded 12 years in prison for the former Interior Minister Saimir Taikiri over accusations he was involved in drug crack trafficking in cooperation with the Habili Group. The number of mayors accused by the DP of lying about previous convictions has now reached three. Following Badrin Pietri and Adil Kaimako, the DP now asked the prosecution to investigate the mayor of Valdez, Mark Babani. The new chair of the Leisure District Council used force to break into the institution's premises. For this reason, he is accused by the vice chair of having usurped the institution with the help of police. It's six o'clock on Tuesday, the 10th of September, 2019. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to RTV Aura's English edition. My name is Alexandra, bringing you the only daily update of the local Albanian news translated into English. On to what everyone's been talking about today. The serious crimes prosecution has demanded 12 years in prison for the sentencing of the former Interior Minister, Saimir Tahiri. This stand by the prosecution was opposed by the lawyers defending the former Minister of Interior, as well as by Saimir Tahiri himself, who also made mention of other ministers of the Rama government during his pre-trial at the serious crimes court. After the pre-trial, Tahiri filed arguments in the court hall with a table explaining each instance. Bring me a test for the four occasions you accuse me of. Tell me an illegal act I did and I will go to jail, said Tahiri. Regarding allegations that he made the traffickers invulnerable by opening doors and creating sea traffic, former Minister Tahiri said he had sent six secret letters to former Defence Minister Mimi Kodeli in which he had asked her to fix faulty radars in Duras and Vlora. The former minister also dismissed allegations of consuming a lunch with Habilai. Habilai has been tapped whilst saying that I was the big boss on the 22nd of November 2013, but I was actually in Brussels for meetings regarding Albania's integration. On the November 23, 2013, Habilai was again tapped, saying that I was there for, with the boss for lunch. However, on the date in question, I was at a media conference for the case of Dranova prison fugitives. I also attended meetings along with the Head of State Intelligence Service, Adriatic Lala, and the Minister of Justice, Nasip Nacho, stated Tahiri. Tahiri announced that his phone records resulted in zero communication with Habilai. Likewise, investigations in 15 cities of both Greece and Montenegro found no evidence of property or assets in his name obtained from trafficking. Those traffickers talk about 5 million euro here and then 20 million euro there that I earned and wanted for the elections. So then, why has the serious crimes prosecution not begun their investigations with Eddie Rama and then progressed down the pyramid to me and everyone else, inquired Tahiri. Despite the prosecution's request for 12 years in prison, the former interior minister, if found guilty, would benefit from a one-third reduction of the legal penalty due to the acceptance of a shortened trial. According to the prosecution, the former police director of Flora, Yael Chela, was also involved in illegal activities with Tahiri. Following Valdrin Pietri and Agim Kaimaku, the Democratic Party has also wants the prosecution to verify the information listed on the decriminalisation forms of the socialist mayor for Valdez, Mark Babani. In the letter signed by Secretary General Guzman Bardi, it is said that Babani has hidden immigration bans, convictions and deportations from both Italy and North Macedonia. He is suspected of having de been detained in Italy during the years 1994 to 1999 and subsequently sentenced and deported by the responsible Italian authorities. On the other hand, previously released data shows that he was arrested, detained and subsequently convicted in the Republic of North Macedonia during the period 2002 to 2003. The Democratic Party has proposed to the prosecution that the mayor of Vaudeus, Mark Babani, has three identities, Mark and Dodge Babani, Mark Saimir Babai and Uli Saimir Babai. However, Mayor Babani himself denies these claims by the Democratic Party. Speaking to RTV Aura, he had this to say, I have not been convicted. I have not received any fines throughout 25 years of traveling Europe. I have tried all my life to be a model person and a model Albanian. I'm not aware of the claims that have been made by the Democratic Party, but I am ready to clarify everything. My name is Mark Babani, born on December 24, 1966. Our family's surname is Babai, but at school, all my cousins and people around me referred to it as Babani. I have fought all my life to be a model Albanian. All my life, my father and my grandfather have not spent 24 hours in prison with all the governments that have been here, neither with the communist government nor with the democ democratic government today. 
In the request for verifying Mark Babani by the prosecution, accompanied with the signatures of 500 citizens, the Democratic Party says it expects a quick reaction. Meanwhile, an investigation is underway for the mayor of Vora Valdrin, and Valdrin Pietri, who recently resigned as mayor of Škodra. The socialist mayor of Leja, who emerged from the June 30 voting, took up the new post without incident as he found the door of the institution open, without having to enter the premises forcibly, as his counterparts did a few weeks ago. But the socialists had to use this scheme to get the district council office. Deputy Mayor Agostin Marku accused the newly elected leaders a few days ago of having usurped the institution by police, forcibly opening the main door of the institution. According to Marku, the mandates of the regional council are unlawful and will therefore be referred to the administrative court. Meanwhile, the new head of the Leisure District, Eduardo Ndreza, officially began work this morning and the main door of the institution has been firmly opened in the presence of police forces. He claimed that he had been given two days off to allow for the release of the office and was forced to act. Residents of Shlichny village in Kukus threaten to block Kuksi Airport if the government and the concessionaire do not compensate them to the market value of their land, taken for the purpose of runway expansion. The offered values are considered by them to be ridiculous, and as such, they ask for entitlement based on certificates of ownership and court decisions. We are the rightful owners of Kuksi Airport and have not taken any expropriation measures. They give us 195 lek per square metre of land and call this ridiculous price compensation. We require a minimum of 10 to 15 euro per square metre, said the residents. Residents blocked work at the airport for several hours yesterday as a warning to the concessionaire and the government that their patience for awaiting a peaceful solution is coming to an end. However, residents do have the support of Mayor Safet Jitsi, who says he has begun negotiations with the government to renew the value. I believe there will be a solution between the government, the concessionaire and the legal owners of the land, said Jitsi. Kuksi Airport has been identified as one of the strategically qualified investments in the Kukus region. Construction of the project should be completed within two years and envisions an extension by 500 metres to the east side, affecting properties legally owned by residents of Shtichny. Nursing, as well as other programs of the University of Medicine, are being selected more and more by young people with the aim of moving out of Albania and finding employment in countries they believe will offer more opportunities for them. And it's not just better salaries they seek. Lack of proper working conditions and professional evaluation are also commonly listed reasons by youth for leaving the country. According to the nursing order data, only during year 2019 so far, 554 abroad documentations have been issued for all occupations covered by this institution. According also to the nursing order, this year there has been a slight increase in the requests for this documentation, as in the, as in the year 2018 as a whole, 529 were issued for professions like nursing, midwifery, physiotherapy and speech therapy. However, the Ministry of Health does not see this increase as a concern as, according to them, over 2,000 nurses are newly licensed each year. Interest in recruiting Albanian doctors and nurses has mainly been shown by the health institutions of the German state. One month ago, a team of one of the hospitals from Germany held a meeting with the QSUT staff and it has been learned that about 20 nurses were selected for positions within the German health system. Those selected are expected to leave the Albanian homeland after receiving their German language certificates. With only a few days left to start the new school year in the capital, it seems that all educational institutions are ready to welcome the students. In a meeting with school principals, Mayor Erion Veliai said that intervention in every school is continuing and that the situation in them has improved significantly when compared to four years ago. I'm glad we have new gyms and that we've transformed all the other spaces, both outside and inside the school, said Veliai. To increase safety, there will be a municipal police officer or volunteer at each school to help the little ones cross safely at the designated pedestrian crossings. One of the things I like most about volunteering is that you have so much to gain by spending just two hours a month of your time. Today, there is no university in the world that does not have a section on volunteering. For everything to be ready, the municipality of Tirana has organised an extensive sweep throughout the territory on September 14th, said Beliai. 
Mirabilii invited educational staff to contribute to maintaining cleanliness with the school premises, while municipal companies and hundreds of volunteers expected to join the initiative will look after the outside environment. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join us again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of RTV Aura, thank you and good night.